गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स लास्ट टाइम वी हैव स्टार्टेड आई यू पी एस सी नॉमिन क्लेचर ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड इन विच वी हैव सीन सम रूल्स फॉर द गिविंग नेम्स फॉर सेचुरेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बन दैट इज अल्केस नाउ टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी द नॉमिन क्लेचर आई यू पी एस सी नॉमिन क्लेचर ऑफ अनसेचुरेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बन नाउ अनसेचुरेटेड हाइड्रोकार्बन आर नथिंग बट अल्किस और अल्काइंस Alkenes are the unsaturated hydrocarbons containing carbon-carbon double bond, and alkenes are unsaturated hydrocarbons containing carbon-carbon triple bond. Now here we have seen some rules in case of naming IUPAC names for saturated hydrocarbons, that is alkenes. Now we are going to see some rules. which are used to give names to unsaturated hydrocarbons that is alkenes or alkynes along with these rules which we have studied last time some new rules are used to name the unsaturated hydrocarbons now we are going to see these rules in which first rule is the longest continuous chain of carbon carbon multiple bond is selected now here some examples are given here so that we can understand how th this rule is used now here in first example this longest chain contain five carbon atom 1 2 3 4 5 5 but it does not possesses a multiple bond that is double bond or triple bond but if we consider this chain 1 2 3 4 then here we have to consider that chain which contain carbon carbon multiple bond either it is double bond or triple bond therefore this chain is a continuous chain and here there are four carbon atoms that is a continuous chain that is a continuous chain is selected is of four carbon atom now look here in this example now here there are seven carbon atom in a continuous chain but there is absence of carbon carbon double bond or triple bond but if we consider this chain that is 1 2 3 4 5 6 6 then this chain contain carbon carbon triple bond therefore this chain is selected as a continuous chain of carbon atom now in case that is in this continuous chain of carbon atom there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 six carbon atoms that is here in this example there are six carbon atoms in a continuous chain and in this example there are four carbon atoms in a continuous chain that is this chain is selected that is parent alkene of this chain is butane and parent alkene of this chain is hexane now rule second give numbering to the carbon carbon chain from the end which is nearer to the multiple bond now look here this example now in this example here there is branching here there are four carbon atom 1 2 3 4 now here there is branching but we have to give numbering from the end which is nearer to the multiple bond that is 1 2 3 and 4 this numbering is correct numbering now in case of second example there are five carbon atoms but this end is nearer to the double bond that is 1 2 from this it is at third position therefore it becomes 1 2 3 4 5 therefore we are going to give numbering from the end which is nearer to the multiple bond or double bond therefore this is the correct numbering third rule we are going to see is replace suffix ane from alkene by ene for double bond and yne for triple bond hydrocarbons now from this example we can write now here in first example there are four carbon atom 1 2 3 4 we give numbering from the end which is nearer to the double bond that is 1 2 3 and 4 now in case of four carbon atom parent alkene is butane but here there is double bond that is it is alkene 
therefore we have to write butene that is replace ane from parent alkene by ene in case of double bond that is it is alkene name is butene and in case of triple bond now look here there are four carbon atom but there is presence of a carbon carbon triple bond we give numbering from the end which is nearer to the triple bond here there are four carbon atom therefore parent alkene is butane but replace this ane by yne therefore it becomes but yne now fourth rule position of carbon atoms from which multiple bonds starts is indicated by smaller local number of two multiple bonded carbons before the ending of ene or yne that is if we consider this example now here there is presence of a double bond in between two one and two number carbon atom that is this double bond is present in between one and two number carbon atom now in case of this example triple bond is present in between this one and two number carbon atom then here when this name or this suffix is replaced by ene that is ane from alkene is replaced by ene the lower number is indicated that is the position of this double bond is indicated by a lower number that is it becomes but one ene this indicates the position of double bond one stands for position of double bond and this double bond is present in between one and two number carbon atom in case of this it becomes but one yne that is this multiple bond is present in between two carbon atoms then number is given or position is indicated by the lower number of carbon atom that is this triple bond is present in between the carbon number 1 and carbon number 2 therefore this position of this triple bond is indicated by lower number that is but 1 ene fifth rule that is rule number 5 now if the multiple bond is present at equidistance from both the ends of the carbon chain then carbon atoms are numbered from the end which is nearer to the branching now from this example we can understand this rule now look here in this first example there are 1 2 3 4 5 6 carbon atoms now if we give numbering from this end 1 2 3 then it is that is double bond is present at 3 and 4 number carbon atom and if we give numbering from this end 1 2 3 then again double bond is present in between 3 and 4 carbon atom that is this double bond is present from equidistance that is here from both end this double bond is present at three position now here we have to give numbering to this chain from the end which is nearer to the branching now look here 1 2 3 at three position there is branching and in case of this end 1 2 at two position there is branching therefore we have to give numbering from the end which is nearer to the branching if the double bond is present at equidistance then give numbering from the end which is nearer to the branching this is the correct way of numbering now this example in this case triple bond is present at carbon number 3 and 4 and from this end same that is triple bond is present in between carbon number 3 and carbon number 4 but from this end there is branching therefore give numbering from the end which is nearer to the branching that is 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 this is the correct way of numbering now rule number 
in this case, case if the parent chain contains two double bonds or two triple bonds then it is named as diene di stands for two two double bonds diene for alkenes or diyne for alkynes in all these case a from alkene is retained that is a from alkene or a from ane of alkene is retained now from this example we can understand this rule now look here there are two double bond now this double bond is nearer to the terminal therefore we are giving numbering from this end that is 1 2 3 4 and 5 there are 5 carbon atoms therefore parent alkene is pentane but there are two double bond now here due to presence of double bond this ane becomes ene but in case of this now here there are two double bonds therefore we cannot remove this a right here dash and give the position of this double bond this double bond is present at one number carbon atom and at three number carbon atom therefore it becomes penta one three die and this is double bond therefore it becomes ene therefore name of this compound is penta one three die ene now this is second example so one two three four five six this end is nearer to the triple bond therefore we are going to give numbering from this end 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Now in this chain there are 6 carbon atoms. Here there are 2 triple bond at 1 number carbon atom and at 4 number carbon atom. Now parent alkene is hexane. but there are presence of two triple bond therefore we write the name hexa 1 4 di y n e that is name of this compound is hexa 1 4 di y n e Now, next rule, that is rule number 7. If parent chain contains both double bond and triple bond, in, then carbon chain is numbered from the end which is nearer to the multiple bond. Now, here we are going to see the, this rule by using this example. Now, here there is presence of carbon carbon double bond and carbon carbon triple bond then numbering is given from the end which is nearer to the multiple bond now here from this end the triple bond is present at two position one two and in this case or from this end double bond is present at one position therefore we give numbering from the end which is nearer to the multiple bond or double bond that is 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. This is correct way of numbering. Now here how the name is given. Such systems are named by putting EN ending first followed by YNE. The number indicating the position of double bond. Now we are going to understand this rule by using this example. Now in this chain, parent alkene is pentane. That is five carbon atoms are there and parent alkene is pentane. Now here, ANE from pentane is replaced by ENE and YNE. Now here, first we write the one 
en en stands for alkene or double bond and then 3 yne that is e from ene e is replaced by 3 yne this 3 yne indicates there is presence of triple bond in between carbon number 3 and carbon number 4 now uh, second example this is second example now here first we are going to give numbering from the end which is nearer to the double bond or triple bond now here there are double bond and triple bond also present now here from this end 1 2 at two position there is double bond and in from this end triple bond is present at number 1 carbon atom therefore we give numbering from this end 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now there are 6 carbon atoms therefore parent alkene is hexane now here first we are going to give num name of alkene and then alkyne now this double bond is present at position number 4 therefore it becomes 4 en then 1 yne that is hex 4 en 1 yne is the name of this compound now rule number 8 if there is a tie in between double and triple bond then double bond gets the lower number now look here this example now in this example if we give numbering from this end or from this end now here in this example triple bond is present at number one carbon atom and double bond is also present at number one carbon atom there is there is tie in between double bond and triple bond then lower number is given to that carbon atom which possesses double bond that is one two three four five that is double bond gets the lower number one two three four five that is you have to give numbering from the end which is nearer to the double bond then here there are five carbon atom therefore parent alkene is pentane at one position there is en that is double bond and at four position there is triple bond therefore 4yne name of this compound is paint 1en 4yne